Some hopes have probably been dashed right now across South Florida. Hurricane Dorian, right? Hurricane Dorian. Many communities on the U.S. mainland are preparing for Hurricane Dorian. Dorian. Hurricane Dorian. At this point, we have a extremely powerful hurricane. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy and I'm back out here. As you can see, today, today, we'll be doing some hurricane setup. I'm here at my house. As you can see, I live over here in Miami, Florida. I'm gonna be taking you guys today what it's like living in Florida, having to prepare for a hurricane. I'm gonna show you guys step by step what you guys technically gotta do. We got a hurricane coming. It's probably, the uh, they said on the news, it's gonna hit us category four. The news, I'm waiting for the news to pop up right now. Kinda not excited. A lot of people are gonna not, it's, it's not good, it's not good, it's not, it's not, it, like, I'm prepared. That's all I know. My family's prepared. We're ready. You can see over here a lot of people going out over here in Miami. Just buying groceries, water. Like, literally, look at that. People are buying everything. Well, Matt, hurricane supplies have been flying off shelves at stores all over Orange County at a fast pace. Bottles of water. We got our supplies of water right here. We have two uh, bags of um, Zephali, blah, 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 whatever water. Uh, yeah, the water from Florida. Each of these brings 40 bottles. We also went out yesterday and we bought um, a generator. You can connect to gasoline or gas right here. And we also bought an air conditioner, a portable air conditioner. Uh, I, we got all of this set up at Home Depot. Generators. These are the generators that we sell. Plywood and water. Everyone's going for the water, so they had to put a limit on it. Home Depot, limiting customers to 10 pieces of plywood. And yeah, we're just gonna keep it there on standby just in case. And I'm just currently waiting out for the news to see what's gonna happen. I heard some news that it's gonna hit us out of category four. I really don't know. I'm hoping the best. It might hit us straight, it might hit us uh, south, or it might go north. So I really can't tell you guys. I'm not an archaeologist, whatever, whatever I call it. My dad, we gotta get our, all our uh, setups. We have to strap stuff down in the backyard we got to get the shutters on we got to maybe do so a bit more groceries and i'm gonna take you guys through the whole process of what it's like living in miami and having to set up for a hurricane and getting ready and all that stuff i'll see you guys as you can see what all right guys so i'm right here that shit is coming like right here. When it gets here, it's gonna be category four. He said, <coughs> I'm sorry, the street possibilities, it can go down here in the middle or out. Oh my God, y'all. And on top of that, guys, we're gonna have high tides with plus weather on top. There's no, no good, all right? All right, y'all, make sure to fill this, this one up so we can have some gasoline for our generators just in case. It's my dog, it's my dog Nala. What's up, Nala? So back here, we have our shutters. I'm gonna start getting all those shutters out and start lacing them out so we can start laying them out. As you can see right here, this is how they're gonna be going. You stack them one on top of the other. And you got your shutters right there. They go with butterfly nuts. You gotta do all the windows. More shutter panels for right here, but I will leave it for last because we need some windows right there. Shutter panels for right there. And that's technically what I'm gonna start doing right now. I'm gonna put on some gloves and get working. Keep you guys updated on this journey. Guys, as you can see right there, we got a lot of people putting in gas. Uh, that's a whole ass gas station right there. Uh, and everybody's technically putting gas in case of evacuation. These are cars waiting to get gas here at the BJ's on Powerline Road near Commercial. And once they get inside of the parking lot, there is more waiting. They have to snake around this parking lot just to get to the fuel pumps. Gas in South Florida has shifted into quite a hot commodity today. The demand so high that drivers are willing to wait however long it takes just to fill up. Alright y'all, it's really hot out there, so like, I'm gonna wear my sombrero because it is hot out there, boy. A whole bunch of people here getting their gas early. You might wonder if they have enough gas for all these people in line. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna start getting all these things out and going. All right, y'all, right here's where I have all these, uh, all the butterflies. All right, y'all, so far I got all these laid out, but then we still got all of these right here. We got a lot more to go. Each uh, window has its own specific size. That's why you got to uh, squirt them out, different sizes. 
as you can see the weather is starting to get a little knocked off right now but yeah we gotta work under the rain we gotta work find the measuring tape this measure right here bang and from the end of one to the end of the other that'll be seven feet and three inches so now when we go outside the one outside should be seven feet three inches and that's the one that goes on there Three nursing homes and seven hospitals have been evacuated ahead of Dorian. And Mark Strassman is in St. Augustine, and he found some folks who live a block from the beach but don't want to leave. This community has a mandatory evacuation order, but Sergeant Chrissy Paget can't really enforce it. Are you going to be staying? Well, I'm, I prefer to stay. And Patricia Lorenzell won't leave. She's 96. More than 8 million seniors live in Florida's East Coast counties and face the menace of Dorian. I probably can't run anymore, but I can trundle out to my car and take off. Technically, as you guys can see there, I went outside and measured out. I know the measurements now, but as soon as I got back, guess what? It started to rain, and now it's raining. Can't really do much. We got this puppy over here. It's a little brat girl. You brat. Watching the news all over again, over and over. I've pretty much, I've been outside with the shutters working. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys right now the progress. We got that shutter. I got this shutter ready. And I got this shutter. This shutter right here. Get it on there. All right, y'all, so me and my dad, right now we're gonna go ahead out, grab some gas. There we go, all the buckets. Okay, guys, right here we have all the containers. We clean them with gasoline because we don't have any other containers like these. So we clean these with gasoline so we can have enough storage for gas. Right here we got five gallons, five gallons, five gallons, two gallons. And we have more inside that we already filled up. Hello. Tú no sabes si hay mucha cerrada de gasolina en Villay? Earlier today, Sky 10 was over a Costco in Davie, where drivers kept the fuel pumps just as busy for fuel and for propane. Been working all day, but now that I get here to the gas station, I realize everybody's, you know, filling up. And at another Miami area, BJ's, the same story. The line's expected to grow as the storm continues to churn closer. Here we have the FPL trucks, Florida, power line. Ready to assist on the first hand right here. Yeah, one of the big questions we always get is when we have one of these storms, when are we going to lose power and how quickly can we get it back? Just here at this facility alone, they have 4,000 transformers and other pieces of equipment set up and at the ready. They tell us throughout the state they have 11,000 more transformers, so 15,000 total, along with 27,000 power poles and 5,000 restoration crew members all on standby by putting in stronger, more storm resilient poles, smart switches and other means have helped us shave days off the restoration. But storms can be very humbling and we don't know what Dorian is gonna lead us to and how that restoration is gonna be. But I can tell you that we are ready, we're prepared and we will address all the outages as they happen and get the lights back on safely and as quickly as possible. <laughs> Dale. Maca y en dado al 87. La única que tiene. We got gas right here, 236 guys. All the pumps are full. Ese de 5 galones. Va por dos. We got a whole ass line right there of people lining up. In some places, lines of cars stretching down entire roads. As of this morning, at least six counties in Dorian's path saying their pumps have nearly run dry, with more than half of their supply already gone. Miami Fort Lauderdale hit the hardest. 72% of their gas stations are without fuel this morning. I'm looking for gas myself, but at the stations with no lines, well, that's because the pumps are covered up. They've run out of gas. The 
Florida Highway Patrol is now being used to escort fuel trucks to areas that need it. And it the Florida Highway Patrol now escorting tankers, bringing in more fuel. All right, y'all, what is up? It is currently a few days before the storm. I just did some errands earlier this morning. I went out and got some more gas. I got about a good 10 to 15 uh, more gallons of gas right there. As you can see, we have that. We have about 30 to 35 gallons of gas, which is about 100 liters, I would say, or probably even more than 100 liters. Uh, but we also have the cars. Cars are full of gas as well. Some pumps are uh, closed because they don't have no gas at all right now. And the ones that have gas are packed, like super packed. You're being in line for 30, 40 minutes just to get 10 gallons of gas. It's insane. Uh, I think they're sometimes going to start limiting the amount of gas that people get. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, that's technically the update for today, and we're just waiting calmly. Uh, today we'll be continuing um, with the process. I'll be showing you guys what we've been doing uh, from yesterday, and today I'll be showing you what we uh, need to finish today. Look at this. For the first time in about a week, Florida's out of the cone. Right there. Just Beautiful. shy of hitting the cape with the cone. So what does that mean for you? Well, take a look. This thing's going to be coming up through here tomorrow, then finally start to speed up. But every time I measure from here to here, suddenly it's out here about 60 or 70 miles. That's going to be some kind of wonderful for us. So y'all can see the trees. That's the water right there. The water is about six feet. 